Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. You can get raw comics. They specialize in lots of 10. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. What is going on guys? It's Brian with Superman's Men's Comics back again to give you my picks for comic books that are hitting final order cutoff this coming Monday, June 21st. Fully up front with you, it's a super light week, which is great. You get to keep some money in your wallet, but there are some great picks and we're going to jump into it right now. Starting with Image Comics, we get that second issue for Six Sidekicks of Trigger Keaton. Love the first issue on this one. If you are a fan of movies like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, this is a comic book that you're going to want to read. When I say Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, imagine Leonardo DiCaprio's character. Instead of just having Brad Pitt, he had five other sidekick friends. But Leonardo DiCaprio gets murdered, and it's up to those friends to figure out who killed him. Not to mention Trigger Keaton is pretty much an asshole. But either way, those sidekicks are his friends. And they are trying to find out who killed him. And the solicit hints at the best car chase ever in comics. It's got two covers for it. I like cover B better, but a lot of times for these indie books, especially Image and Skybound, I like to pick up the cover A, but I will be picking up that cover B. Also, it's got that TV, like the TV guy type look, the TV daily magazine, as you could say. That covers by Afu Chan. So I'm going to actually be picking up both covers for this. Getting over to Marvel, we get Sinister War number six. Here we have Doc Ock's Sinister Six taking on Vulture's Savage Six, kicking off one of the big events for Marvel for the summer. And as Marvel does with their big events, they also have an enormous amount of covers for this. I'm talking covers upon covers. There's multiple incentives. There's multiple one in 25s. There's one in 100. There's multiple other incentive variants. I, out of all of them, my favorite cover is regular price variant. That's the Cal New variant. That's the one I'm going to pick up. Picking this up more just for the read. Although when it comes to Marvel events, it's 50-50, right? Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Of course, the yardage may vary. That's what makes comics great. You're the reader. You decide what you like. I liked War of the Realms. I like the Donny Cates Absolute Carnage. So I'm definitely in for this one for the read. And I'm picking up that Cal New cover. As I always say, when it comes to a bunch of covers like this, pick the cover you like. Unless you're an extreme fan, go Pokemon style and collect them all. But you just might have to take a loan out because <laughs> there's so many freaking covers for you. But moving on, getting over to DC Comics. This is a series I've been looking forward to. I've talked plenty of times on this channel how much I love Tom Taylor's writing. And he's taking on Superman, but not the Superman we know. We are talking about John Kent. That's right, we get Superman. Son of Kal-El number one, written by Tom Taylor. Super excited about this one. It's got some great covers for it. It's got that John Timms kind of homage cover A. You also have an Enhiak Lee cardstock variant. Shout out back to the Super Sons. And you also have a Stephen Byrne variant. But the one I also really like on this one, the one I think people should also pay attention to, is DC's been doing these 1 in 25 variants, the black and white variants. They've had Ricardo Federici doing some. For this one, they actually have a 1 in 25 Jen Bartel variant. I would definitely pick that one up. I think DC Comics is kind of being slept on lately. Yes, the distribution's changed. I haven't heard as many people talk about DC Comics as much as they have in the past, which I think is a great time to be picking some of these up for cheap because it all is a rotation where you see Marvel's better than uh, DC. DC becomes better than Marvel. I just don't think there's a lot of attention being put on DC Comics and there's some great stories, and I have full faith in Tom Taylor writing Superman. So I'm taking one of my favorite writers in comics right now, a classic character, and then I take a 1 in 25 incentive with a monster artist like Jim Bartel. This is definitely one I'm pre-ordering. Then getting back over to Marvel for a second, we also get Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters number 2. 
This is number two of a five issue arc. Boba Fett is still searching after his bounty. That's right, Han Solo, Frozen Carbonite, finds the location, but other bounty hunters are also after him. But not only that, the bounty hunters are also after Boba Fett himself. Who does he have to turn to for help, but none other than Dr. Aphra, one of the, one of the hottest characters in Star Wars comics right now, and Star Wars comics is one of the hottest series no matter what the title is, in all of comics as well. Got a bunch of great covers for it. It's got that action figure variant that a lot of people like to collect. It's also got a 1 in 25 incentive trading card variant, as well as a great Giuseppe Comicoli headshot variant. Either way, if you're a Star Wars fan, Boba Fett fan, or an Afro fan, this is one issue you might be interested in. That's going to bring us into the indie showcase portion of this video. That's right, brought to you by Black Cake Comics, blackcakecomics.com. You can pre-order all the books talked about in this video as well as the indie books they are big fans of indie comics as myself and kicking off the indie showcase from boom studios we get berserker number four that's right i don't think there's much that needs to be said about this book a lot of people are well aware of it it is that great book written by matt kent and of course keanu reeves starring keanu reeves as well if you can say starring drawn after <laughs> either way blockbuster comic book series right now it's huge if you're a fan of 80s action movies, this is definitely one to be reading. Over-the-top violence, fantastic story, and like issues before it, it has a lot of covers for it and some great variants. We saw with issue number three, a lot of Jenny Frizen. Issue number four, we get some great Mirka and Dolfo variants. There's also some great Christian Ward variants as well as some Raphael Grandpa variants. Either way, Berserker's definitely been a wild ride. Great series so far. And if you haven't been reading it, four issues in, it's still early enough to jump on because if you weren't able to pick up the first prints, they do have additional printings of the previous issues, which makes it easier for a new reader jumping on board to go into the comic shop and be able to get all the issues leading up to the current issue. Also from Boom Studios, we're getting Eve number three. Here's a series I haven't talked about as much. I have been picking it up and I, and I think it's a series, I won't say that's overshadowed, but hasn't or and I won't say hasn't been getting attention because it has been, yet I still think that there are titles that other people are looking at as far as something that's killing children, Berserker. But this is one I think is, I won't say, I don't want to say sleeper because like I said, people are aware of it. But I do think it's not getting the attention that this series deserves. And the people that have been reading it are bonkers about it. This is a great story so far. I mean, think of a young girl. And then like a crazy ass Teddy Ruxpin, right? We got like an Android bear. Either way, you can still find some of the issues one and two in your LCS, but they are definitely drying up. And this is a wild, wild ride. Speaking of wild rides, getting over to Aftershock Comics, we get issue number two of Bunny Mask. Bunny Mask number one came out. Critical acclaim, fan acclaim, bunch of store exclusive variants for it as well. And it's well received, great first issue. We're getting issue number two, hitting FOC this Monday. You do have that regular cover A. There's also a 1 in 15 incentive variant for this. Aftershock has definitely been putting out some fantastic series lately, which I'm seeing from a lot of great indie publishers, right? Mad Cave with Nottingham. Vault Comics has been doing fantastic series. They also got that up and coming Barbaric. I'm super excited for that one. That one just hit FOC last week. But either way, Aftershock, Bunny Mask. This is a freaking crazy, crazy ass story so far. Issue number two hitting FOC this Monday. And then the last one on the Indie Showcase, which is probably my pick of the week, and for good reason. I've been talking about this series before issue one hit FOC years ago. We are getting that third story arc from Kanto and Kanto Lionhearted number one. Super excited about this one. Been telling you between each arc, between each one shot and between the arcs, this is definitely a series that's worth reading. It's fun, it's great, it's all ages. And when I say all ages, it's not in that typical solicit type of way where, oh, all ages, that means it's for kids. It's not, it's all ages. Like your kids will love it, parents will love it, teens will love it. Canto three, Lionhearted number one, FOC. You, the great thing about it also is you don't necessarily have to read Canto two, Canto one. Yes, they build on each other, but they're also self-contained to where if you start in at Canto 3, it's a great starting point as well. And you can go back and pick up the trades. Canto 2 trades available. Canto 1 trades available. The one shots are out there. But issue number one for Lionhearted, Canto 3, hits FOC this Monday night. Pre-order it. 
And make sure you're aware of there's also that 1 in 10 incentive. That's definitely one worth picking up. Either way, great comic book. And the creators, David Boer, Drew Zucker, had them on the channel a bunch of times. You can go back and watch multiple interviews on my channel with David Boer, Drew Zucker. And you'll find out why I love those guys so much. The most genuine, nicest guys who really love comic books and are writing a great story while they're doing it. Canto 3, Issue 1. FOC, Monday night. Make sure you get your orders in. And with that being said, that's going to bring us into the later printings for this week. From Marvel, we're getting Web of Spider-Man number one, getting a second print. And from Boom Studios, we get that Save Yourself number one, also getting a second print. Then from DC Comics, we get that great James Tynan, Nice House on the Lake number one, getting us with the second print. But there's also a second print, 1 in 25 incentive variant. Remember, also DC Comics, their FOC is Sunday instead of Monday. So make sure if you're interested in that, you get your orders in before Sunday night. And also from DC Comics, we get that DC Presents The Conjuring the Lover number one, also getting a second print. So there it is, guys. My picks for comic books are in FOC this Monday night or Sunday for DC Comics. Make sure you get your orders in. Visit your LCS. Add them to your pool box. Either way, a lot of times those pre-orders, again, you do get a discount, save a little bit off the cover price. More importantly, secure your copies so you're not chasing them on release day. With that being said, this is Brian with Superman's Comics. See you guys in the next video.